In this video, we cover the top six best paying jobs for students studying environmental science. Number six, sustainability specialist. The national average salary of a sustainability specialist is $72,000 per year. Sustainability specialists combine business expertise and environmental factors to determine how businesses can operate in an environmentally responsible way. They specifically look at sustainability issues. They seek business solutions that will not have an adverse effect on the future. This means that they may prioritize renewable energy sources instead of promoting development of products that rely on non-renewable energy sources or materials. They may prepare reports and perform a cost-benefit analysis of proposals in order to help their business make effective decisions. They review data to determine how to implement sustainability strategies and are involved with setting targets for the company's progress in implementing sustainability practices. Number five, environmental health and safety managers. The national average salary of an environmental health and safety manager is $81,000 per year. Environmental health and safety managers are also known as occupational health and safety officers, corporate safety specialists, environmental protection officers, or safety consultants. The health and safety manager's role is to prevent and eliminate injury and illness to employees and assist companies to comply with safety laws. They inspect workplaces and minimize or eliminate hazards. Number four, hydrogeologist. The national average salary of a hydrogeologist is $84,000 per year. Hydrogeologists are trained to study subterraneous water formations. They typically have a background in geoscience and have job opportunities in a variety of industries including construction, hazardous waste, environmental protection, or research. Their research is used for construction projects, aquifer protection, and for the safe disposal of hazardous waste among other uses. Most employers require employees in this field to hold a master's degree in a geoscience related field. In addition, some provinces require hydrogeologists to be licensed. Number three, environmental site assessment managers. Environmental site assessment managers make $88,000 per year on a national average. Environmental site assessors are a specific type of environmental consultants who inspect sites for certain environmental conditions, analyze samples, and design remediation projects. Some job requirements include leading environmental site assessment programs including Phase 1 and Phase 2 environmental site assessments, remediation programs, and hydrogeological investigations. Perform and document field data collection activities including oversight of subcontractors. And executing field programs with site visits, test pitting, borehole drilling, monitoring well installation, soil vapor surveys, soil and groundwater remediation, monitoring, and surveying. Number two. Occupational Hygienist The national average salary of an occupational hygienist is $89,000 per year. An occupational hygienist specializes in identifying risks in the workplace and advises organizations on how to avoid and resolve them. Working in a variety of locations including building sites, offices, and factories, they promote responsible practice and raise awareness of health and safety issues. Occupational hygiene is where science and engineering meet the human element of work. It is a specialized discipline within the broad area of occupational health and safety, which aims to prevent people injuring themselves or getting ill as a result of their work activities. And number one on our list is energy engineer. The national average salary of an energy engineer is $104,000 per year. Energy engineers design, develop, or evaluate energy-related projects 
or programs to reduce energy costs or improve energy efficiency during the designing, building, or remodeling stages of construction. Energy engineers may specialize in electrical systems, heating, ventilation, and air cooling systems, green buildings, lighting, air quality, or energy procurement. They also identify and recommend energy saving strategies to achieve more energy efficient operations. We hope this video sheds some light on how you can use your environmental science degree. In order to support our channel, please be sure to like and subscribe.